Hello students, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn about 8 standard signs. The topic name is Changes Around Us Part 2. Already we discussed chemical reactions, conditions required for chemical reactions in part 1. So in this video we want to learn effects of chemical reaction. It includes biological effects, environmental effects, production of heat, sound and pressure, evaluation of gas, change in color and change in state. We know that every chemical reaction requires a specific condition to occur. When chemical reactions takes place there will be production of heat, light, sound, pressure etc. So first we move to biological effects. The reactions catalyzed by the enzymes results in the degradation of food quality such as development of bad taste and odor and loss of nutrients. For example, rotten eggs develop a bad smell due to formation of hydrogen sulfide gas. Rotten eggs develop a bad smell due to formation of hydrogen sulfide gas. Decaying of vegetables and fruits due to microbes. Next we move to rancidity of fishes and meat. So what is rancidity? Rancidity is the development of unpleasant smell in fats and oils which are often accompanied by changes in their texture and appearance. See the image. When fresh oil undergoes rancidity, what will happen? The color of the oil will change. So fishes and meat containing high levels of polyunsaturated fatty acids that undergo oxidation causes bad odor when exposed to air or light. Why apples and some fruits turn brown when we cut? Because the cells of apples, fruits and other vegetables contain an enzyme called polyphenol oxidase or tyrosinase that when in contact with oxygen catalyzes a biochemical reaction of plants phenolic compounds to brown pigments known as melanins. Next we move to environmental effects. Our environment provides air to breathe, water to drink and the land to produce food. Due to human activities like industries, increasing number of automobiles etc. Our environment is badly affected nowadays. There is an unwanted change in physical, chemical and biological properties of the environment. This is termed as pollution. The substances which cause these changes are called pollutants. Next we move to types of pollution. There are different types of pollution such as air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution or land pollution noise pollution, marine pollution and thermal pollution. So for this lesson we want to discuss only air pollution, water pollution and land pollution. First we move to air pollution. See the pie chart. This pie chart gives emissions from different sources. The maximum air pollutants came from industries that is 30 percentage. 25 percentage from gas, cars or trucks. Another 25 percentage from agriculture, construction, trains and pleasure crafts. 10 percentage from diesel on road. 5 percentage from home and another 5 percentage from other sources. Chemical substances responsible for air pollution. Carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, oxides of sulfur, oxides of nitrogen, chlorofluorocarbons and methane etc. So what are the effects of air pollution? Number 1 acid rain, number 2 global warming, number 3 respiratory problems. The next one is water pollution. The chemical substances responsible for the pollution is dyeing industries, detergents, oil spillage etc. Then effects of water pollution, effect of organic pollution on water quality, Death of aquatic that is water animals, diseases, destruction of ecosystems. Next we move to land pollution. Chemical substances responsible for the pollution is fertilizers like urea, various pesticides, herbicides etc. Then effects of land pollution are spoilage of land, cancer and 
respiratory diseases etc the next we move to rusting iron materials comes into contact with the water and oxygen it undergoes a chemical reaction called rusting iron metals come in contact with the water and the oxygen it undergoes a chemical reaction called rusting see the image iron plus oxygen plus water it results in the formation of a rust so next we move to tarnishing of a metal articles shiny metal surfaces and other articles lose their shining appearance due to chemical reactions for example silver articles becomes black on exposure to atmospheric air similarly brass vessel which contain copper as one of constituents develop a greenish layer on exposure to air for a long time see the image copper plus water plus carbon dioxide plus oxygen it gives copper hydroxide and copper carbonate the water carbon dioxide oxygen they are present in the moist hair copper hydroxide and the copper carbonate this is the greenish coating on surface of copper vessel this is basic in nature so next we move to production of heat light sound and pressure production of heat before we enter this topic we want to know what is exothermic and endothermic reactions exothermic reactions they are released heat energy endothermic reaction consuming heat energy exothermic reactions are hotter than surrounding endothermic reactions are cooler than surroundings have you ever rubbed your palms in winter season to keep yourself warm have you noticed that heat produced when you use cycle pump likewise chemical reactions also produce a heat energy such reactions are called exothermic reactions for example when you add water to quick lime that is calcium oxide lot of heat released to produce sack lime that is calcium hydroxide quick lime reacts with the water to form slag lime releasing a lot of heat the beaker becomes hard it temperature raises the second one is production of light what happens when you ignite a candle you get light as a result of burning some chemical reaction like these produce light for example when a piece of a magnesium ribbon is burned in a flame bright light is produced with the heat even the fireworks during festival times produce different colored lights which are all due to chemical reactions similarly when we ignite methane gas it produce heat and light next we move to production of sound we produce sound when we speak when you when you hit metals like iron copper etc sound is heard some chemical reactions do produce sound when they takes place what happens when you fire crackers during diwali the chemical substances kept in the crackers undergo some chemical reactions to produce sound for example take a clean test tube add some dilute hydrochloric acid drop a piece of a magnesium or a piece of a zinc metal now bring a burning matchstick near the mouth of the test tube what do you hear you hear a pop sound when a metal like zinc or magnesium reacts with the diluted acid hydrogen gas is produced since hydrogen gas is highly inflammable it reacts with the oxygen in air to produce pop sound the last one is production of pressure what happens when you compress hot balloon having full of air will it burst or not yes it will burst this is due to sudden release of air from the balloon as a result of increased pressure on compression like this some chemical reactions produce gases which build up the pressure when the reaction takes place in a closed container if the pressure level goes beyond the limit we get the explosion for example explosive fireworks on this basis when they are ignited they explode due to pressure generated by gases from the chemical reactions thus you hear a huge sound next we move to evolution of gas change in color and change in state in addition to above effects 
certain other effects may also take place as a result of chemical reactions. Number 1. Evolution of Gas What happens when you open a soda bottle? You can see air bubbles coming out of soda water. Similarly, gas evolution may take place as a result of chemical reactions. For example, when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to solution of sodium carbonate or sodium bicarbonate, carbon dioxide gas is evolved. The second one is change in color. What happens when you play under hot sun for a long time? Your skin becomes dark. Like this, certain chemical changes produce change in color. For example, when you place a iron nail in a solution of copper sulfate, the blue color of copper sulfate slowly changes into green due to chemical reaction between iron copper sulfate solution. The last one is change in state. Take a small ice cube and place it on a plate. What happens after some time? Ice melts into water. Here, solid ice cubes change into liquid water. Like this, in certain chemical reaction, change of state is absorbed. For example, when you burn a piece of camper, smoke comes out as a result of chemical reaction between solid camper and oxygen. Here, there is a change of state from solid to gas. If you have any doubts and suggestions, give your feedback to the WhatsApp group. Thank you. Have a nice day.